Yeah, let's just get these because it'll help speed up everything. Um, this gives me an extra pop district so I don't have to do it later. All good stuff, of course. System resources analyzed. Oh, it's been fully... Oh, routine. So we'll just have him research that. It's when it gets... Complete. When it gets outrageous is when you don't do it. You know, like, if it's anything more than the green or the yellow, if it's, like, red, then you're like, no. You just continue searching on. Because if you don't, you'll limit the expansion. It'll limit the expansion of your empire. And resources are everything in this game. So you want to expand quickly. Because... <coughs> That's legitimately how you win the game. I can't tell you how many empires that have had way better tech than me. But I just had so much fucking resources it didn't matter. Like there was this one war. They legitimately, their fleet or their tech was like, I would say double mine just to kind of give an idea. But I fucking threw so many ships at them that they lost. So to give you an example, I lost almost 700 Corvettes. Just throwing at them constantly just by uh, fucking, what is it? What's this called? Um, reinforce. And I had two uh, two systems right next to the system that we were battling in. Full of nothing but uh, ship rard, shipyards. So, and I had the thing where I was like plus 50% build time. So fucking every day I was pumping out two to three Corvettes. It was fucking hilarious. So this is the council agenda. Something new that they added that I really do like. So this will give you more population happening for your citizens. And then these are the ones that you can do. Um, I like expanding the council. Because that one uh, gives us another council spot. And that provides massive bonuses to the entire empire. So that's the one I always focus on first. Uh, we found a archaeological dig site. Cool. Now they're going to continue exploring while he builds this research station. And then we'll go conquer this uh, one. I haven't found any habitable planets, which is kind of bad. Complete. Usually you find one in the beginning. All right, we'll pause this. Let's go ahead and look at all of our uh, traditions that we can adopt. Um, the one I always go with is Discovery because Map the Stars is such a great... Uh, great edict so edicts are like special programs you enact through the cost of unity so really good um i can do this one wow i can do all of these that's nice so we might do that we have a lot now before we continue on let's go ahead and look through all of this trade policy militarized economy border status is always closed you got to earn the right to be in my empire slavery is always prohibited i don't care public education is really good health care public health care that's important um since we're military we kind of have to put everything towards the military which kind of sucks but it is what it is a lot of uh bonuses there what's gonna suck is it's gonna kind of fuck up this production oh plus 12 that's gonna drop by like Four, I bet, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's going there. So let's continue on. Because I forget, I'm not far enough in the game where 25% is like hundreds of fucking minerals or something. Blocker clear. Progress uh, imminent. All right, there we go. Boom, perfect. Um, we're going to want to take down the clerks. So let's get this built. Oh, vital elements. Oh, okay. So we found more alloys there. We're going to build this. And then after we do that, I'm going to decrease the popularity of these jobs because clerks are useless right now. Um, so we're going to put those down and get more uh, artisans Another and alloys. Has been overcome. Cool, cool. I love this voice. Complete. So we got rid of all the uh, wastelands and shit. So very, very good in that regard. Um, let's check the market. Let's sell 500. And then we're going to buy 500. And then we're going to get all of these built up. Mining stations. Perfect. So we don't have to worry about that for a while. And the minerals don't get used up until you actually uh, research it or until you actually build it. So I've always loved that aspect too. 
survey the stars. Yeah, that gives us like a couple extra thousand shit, like bonuses. Has been so we have all of the uh, obstacles, like the obs the planetary feature obstacles removed. So we have full access to our home planet. Um, that'll be done soon, and I'm going to decrease that by two. So we'll get alloys. So that'll give us like plus four alloys and plus four consumer goods. Um, the main thing we're going to want to focus on, though, is fucking minerals, because that's going to put our mineral production down to 20. And that's going to be no bueno. So, oh, obelisks. Cool. Remnants. More unity. Wow, that's uh, pretty insane. Head of research leveled up, so they have a new trait. How the fuck did this dude become psychic? I'm so confused. He just gained psychic by leveling up. Amazing. Let's see. I can get meticulous twice. I'm so confused. Does that... I don't know if I want to do that, though. Because that just sounds bad. Um, we'll just get Romer. Because I don't know if getting meticulous... Because it's not three. That That's for sure. So, Oh, wait. We had uh, traditions available. Survey speed plus 35. Oh, we can do two. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. We can do three. So that uh, our scientists gain more experience and can level up even quicker. Oh, another one. Hey, we found a planet. Oh, this one's horrible. Detected. 13 planet size? Oh, Titanic Predators. That's horrible. Ancient Wreckage. Wow. Colony Development Speed. Plus 300. All right. Maybe not. Flight Recorder. It's a flight recorder. Jessen's right before the ship was driven straight into the star. These hijackers were either freedom fighters or nationalistic fanatics. The defending group describes the intruder as a terrorist who seek to disrupt a fragile galactic peace in a cruel retaliation for having their nation's wanton aggression contained. The boarding party presents themselves as liberators who are willing to give their lives to free their people from the yoke of an imperialistic oppression that has been forced upon them by treacherous neighbors. Huh. Well, none of my concern. You're all dead. That's one of those, I don't care, because it's not my problem, in the grand scheme of things, anyway. Um, that's almost done, so that's good. Um, we're going to want to, fuck, it looks like this one does go to here, so instead of this, that can still be two entrances, so that will still block off that way. The one thing is going to be over this way. Um, go build that star base. 20. Energy credits is actually extremely good this early in the game. So never, ever going to be sad about that. This one doesn't seem to have a lot of bonuses. Can we get rid of the Titanic Predators? Like, there's a decision to hunt them down. So once we do this planet, we'll just have to fucking redo it. And then there's a couple perks and traditions. So we can probably get this probably up to... Uh, 17 18 probably so it's not that horrible a planet just kind of more annoying we're just going to do the research project since it's on the way study them stars there we go our technicians are producing even more money research and station output we'll grab that one because it'll make up for our military tech bonus well kind of do it's minus 15 percent for the military focus but 10, 15 makes up for it. I don't know why that keeps doing that. Construction finalized. Let's go ahead and build the mining stations. Perfect. Oh, our leader pool has uh, restocked, so we have new leaders to choose from. Not that I fucking need any, though. Um, well, now that you mention it, let's go to the scientists. Any good our ones here? Has no. Let's pause this. That's bad. Well, that's also horrible, stubborn, stupid. Research speed, so it's going to have to be this dude. Because that plus 3% speed is just way too uh, strong, so to speak. Let's see, heat-resistant materials. Eh, fuck it, we'll just get that one. Um, let's go to government. 
we're going to have to go with moi because we get research speed plus 3%, which is better. Um, then before we forget, let's build a science ship. And we'll have him explore the universe as well. So perfect. And this dude can be left to wander to his heart's content. Because his survey speed is an anomaly discovery chance is pretty insane. Oh, this Special dude. Inquiry concluded. Perfect. That's done. We'll pause this. Get him back to automatically exploring. Um, this guy right here. He doesn't have a job. So monthly food plus eight. Not too bad. I actually hate those traits that just give certain bonuses. They're good in the beginning because they give easy, quick like fixes to problems but you become reliant upon them and i feel like it hurts your economy overall because you're not you don't plan for those resources that it generates in my opinion anyway again that could just be i'm anal or dumb about it but that's just how i feel i feel like it's just a bunch of unnecessary shit um it's looking like this one might be the blocker point that i'm going to be doing for that side Pop grow speed. Let's go. We definitely want that. Oh, that's bad. So we're going to need to build another district so that we can build a hollow theaters. Population. Perfect. Everything's good to go in that regard. Once this gets built, I'll just build the hollow theaters and it'll work out perfectly. Yep. So it's looking like this is going to be our standpoint for this side. And... And I don't think this one connects to anything. So I think we're good to go. Have a nice little uh, area blocked off by two. Two victory. Obviously, I'm not going to do a minus. Plasma swirls. I wish they did that shit here. Look at this. This is because of my real space modifier. Look at this thing's pretty dope. I love the visuals for this game. Like once you've like I've seen all of this. Oh, a giant leviathan lays dead, but it looks like large chunk something must have killed it. That's bigger than it, and it's the size of a planet. Good stuff. Look at this one. What do we got? A class O star. Look how beautiful and plasma it looks. Don't look refined. into the lights. Look into the lights. Ah. All right, we're good. That's actually hurting my eyes. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, good research. Perfect. Mining station. Let's get this planet colonized. Because that will be more resources. We haven't... Oh, well, no, we found a second planet. This one's only 16. Anomalous readings. Oh, energy credits. But it only has four? That sucks. Because it's like you'd want to specialize this into an energy planet. I mean, it probably still could if you wanted to. But I feel like it'd just be wasteful. Is there any features on here? Oh, what's this? Oh, we gained some minerals. Okay. Um, no bonuses from what I'm seeing on this planet. Construction finalized. I mean, I'm just going to... Resources analyzed. That's perfect. So for this planet, I'm just going to do generators into industrial districts because that 20% is really nice. And I could probably add a couple of like... Because uh, they have things that naturally produce... Um. Like buildings, like I haven't unlocked it yet, but you can research them. So I could put a couple on that planet uh, along with the one. Um, there's a, also another building that increases your generation on all your uh, people by like plus two, three, four. So it's definitely a good one. Um, a governor. I do, but I don't. I don't have a need for it. That's the issue. Oh, fuck it. We'll just have it. Why not, right? Governor. Top of the morning to you, Governor. Trade value. Oh, wow. Analyzed. This one's better than the Governor I have. There's life. Of dung have been found in the underground cavern along with small streams of liquid water. It appears some form of life exists on this otherwise dead planet. So, but we just haven't found it yet. Well, yeah, because they don't know what the fuck you are. You're just fucking coming from nowhere, out of space. They're like, what the fuck is this? Construction finalized. Um, hollow theaters. We need the hollow theaters. 
Um, did we anomalous readings detected? See, look, 120. So we're just gonna leave for now. Let's build this research so we can get this planet uh, colonized and start up and going. See, most of the time, I would say it's a bad idea to do this, but on your main like center systems, your home systems, it's extremely important because it's your center systems are going to be your base of all resource production. And if those aren't, and if that isn't heavily fortified, you're not going to ever win. Oh, we found volatile moats, which is just a resource we use to build better equipment like uh, lasers and coil guns and all that shit. So. Speaking of which, while we're waiting, fleet management, let's go here. We're going to go ahead and put the red System laser. Resources analyzed. Pause this. Abandoned thrusting of metal shapes. The massive planetary mount mountable propulsion devices intended to push from its orbit for purposes and destinations unknown. Huh. Oh, we get ion Together thrusters. We'll a that's actually really good. Don't want to auto-generate the designs because that's dumb. Because the auto-generate designs, the reason why it's dumb is because it doesn't give you any, like, variety ability. I feel like they should really do a better job of, like, having you get to choose what uh, ships you actually have in your makeup. As far as like when you do your fleet manager thing, I mean, I can understand why that would be kind of tedious, but it's just needed because having to go in and do all of this stuff is just so fucking annoying. Just want to make sure I got them all. All right, there we go. And then we do missiles because I'm a missile freak. Missiles do the most damage in this game. So I'm always having a shit ton of missiles. Makes up for everything else. Let's go ahead and get this. Save. Alright, so that's the most I can do with my Corvettes. We're already researching. Yeah, heat resistance materials. We don't need that. The system was surveyed. Now this one's going to be need to be upgraded. And then let's go to the fleet manager. We're going to add ships. Get this diverse. Let's see. We're just going to go with five for all of them, for now anyway. Our ship capacity doesn't do this, but our command capacity can. And let's see, 40 out of 26. So that will give us probably like plus 25% upkeep to ships our ships. Upgraded. So while bad, it's not necessarily going to be something that's going to hamper our... What are you going there for? That one's already being surveyed. That made no sense. Establishing means of production. Boom. We got our colony. That one just re stopped researching that one. Now what's nice is you can go in and do this. You can actually get all of these, the ones that you have researched, out of the way. If you do it quick enough. Scientific progress attained. See, we'll probably keep these planetary blockers. Because uh, you get more civics. And you can do it so those give, like, uh, housing and jobs and shit. So it's always really good to keep those complete. if you're the ecrocentrist. It makes it very Anomalous beneficial. Reading. Oh, hell yeah, leave that. 480 days? That's fucking, like, three years, bro. The hell is that shit? All right, we're going to go ahead and colonize that. We're leaving that behind so far. Going to save up our alloys. As far as research production, we're looking good. Leader pool and leader experience gain. Good, good. Okay. Oh, it's a valuable world, but we have to terraform it. Useless. Build research. We're already colonizing this one, so that's good. What the hell? That was that established instantaneously. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn no. Oh, it's because of this thing. That's right. Plus 300%. That's right. Okay, I'm just conveniently stupid as hell. Um, This one is almost just going to have to be a food planet because of just how much food it produces. So we'll do this. And then we're also going to be doing our administrative offices. And then we'll build... Oh, not enough minerals. Okay. Anomalous readings detected. Oh, giant 